Wait, what? It's easy to set up a business in Thailand? It is. <laughs> it is? What is this reaction? It's like, yeah, we were like, yeah, mm, it is. It is? <laughs> All right, what's up guys? We are at part two. I have to split up this video because we just got talking so long about dating. But Dia here is a certified business owner here in Thailand. And she is blowing my mind that it is not that hard to set up a business out here. So we're gonna ask her all about it and let her have a little plug to promote her business as well. So watch the rest of the video. So how do you set up a business here? How much does it cost? Is it hard? What do you do? It's easy to set up. Hmm. Um, for example, if you're a foreigner, right? Hmm. Uh, you must invest invest hmm. at least 2 million baht hmm. in the company. But you hmm. don't really have to have 2 million in the bank. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just in the papers that it says you, you've invested 2 million baht. And Whoa. then you register the company. Yeah, and you just hire somebody. Like There are lots of uh, companies that register. Really? Yeah. So there's agents that, uh, yeah, I've heard that there's agents that help you with this process. Mm -hmm. I never really went down the path because I thought it would be just, like that already turned me off. I didn't even know it was 2 million. I thought it had to be 10 million. No. no. 10 million if you want to get like a lot of work permit huh. or if you also want it to be like, um, okay, for in order for you to get a uh, visa and work permit, right? Huh. If you, you register for 10 million, huh. there's a one-stop service where you could get both oh the, yeah, that's the special immigration place that yes. I can never use. That ah, oh, oh, that's what it is. But if it's lower than ten million, it's separate. Like you have to get visa first in one in one um, like uh, department, oh. and then you have to go to the Ministry of two Labor. Two million guys. Two yeah. million, by the way, isn't that much. It's sixty, sixty-five, seventy thousand US. Uh, it's less than a hundred thousand dollars. But she's saying you don't even need to theoretically have it in. In your bank account, you, you in have cash, to just, you know. Well, okay. It's just anyways, register. Register. Yeah. Oh, At two million baht. Interesting. Okay, so how much do you roughly pay these agencies? You know. Um, less than ten k. What? So, like, let's say once you register your business, how long is it good for? Forever. What? Really? Yeah. As long as you don't close the, the company, it just keeps on running. Okay, so the other thing I heard was um, you have to employ, what, four Thai workers? Yes, to get one work permit. One... Uh, Which is basically for yourself, right? Yes. How much do you have to pay them? Like, can I just employ them part-time or... No, they have to be like, you know, your employees, like full-time uh -huh. employees. Yeah, uh -huh. how much? It depends on you. Uh -huh. If, let's say, they're your secretary, maybe like 10,000 baht a month, 8,000 baht a month. What is the minimum wage here? Do they have one? I think 300 baht a day. 300 baht a day. 300 baht a day? A day, so it's like... 10 bucks a day? How, how much? About 10, 10 grand? Yeah. 10 grand a month? Less than wow. 10 grand a month, 10 grand baht a month. Uh, is there a requirement that I have to employ these four people full time? Yes. Oh, okay. They have to pay tax. Oh, they yeah, have to they pay, pay tax. tax. And there's the social security. Mm. I see. That's not impossible, right? Yeah, it's, it's pretty right. easy. I'm, I'm, I'm already, I don't want to say it, but my head is already spinning in a way, okay. Roughly about how much in taxes is the bare minimum wage? I'm not sure. If it's 10, uh, 10k, I, I think, think it's less or maybe less than a thousand. Like, yeah, or like a lot of that would be exempted. Like if they 30 make bucks? That, yeah, if they make that low. <laughs> yeah, some of them actually are not taxed. Yeah, I like I think. Or they are taxed like every yeah, month. Yeah, because I know even return. my tax rate as a foreigner making money, it's not, it's like insignificant. I don't even look at it. And they actually get return some of those at the end of the, uh, the yeah. year. Maybe if my YouTube channel yeah. blows up, I'll create my own company and have yeah. like four editors and videographers aspiring and just... And translator? Translator would be good <laughs> too, yeah. Uh, okay, so you, you register once, it's good forever. You just have to keep... Like, let's say I stop operating the business and, mm. and I fire these employees. Just taking a break, does that mean that it invalidates the work permit? work permit and visa. Yeah. Okay, so I have to keep running the business. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be really running, running, as in like, let's say, um, as long as you don't uh, close the, the company, huh. yeah, and then you're still employing the employees, huh. but it doesn't mean that you have to actually 
like make profit or really have your business running huh. in order to you know as long as you're paying the employees that's the yes, main thing yes. yeah okay you can do a virtual office right yeah, yeah. also you don't you can say virtual. virtual office have no overhead yes well there, well the virtual well, office like my virtual office is around like three thousand baht a month Oh, what do you mean virtual office then? Like you mean like, like uh, work common? from home? Can you do like, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, need, you can just use your uh, home address uh-huh. to be the office address. Right? Yeah, okay. you could yeah. have that, but you must have the the company name, the uh-huh. logo yeah. in front of your house. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But a virtual office is like, um, I think even here has that um like a co-working space you mean? yeah a co-working oh, space okay. and then you rent a quote-unquote space but you don't actually sit in office no i've seen this with uh, one of my subscribers dennis he has like the most expensive one in central central world central world yeah that oh. one where there's like the top businesses there mm-hmm. cool. yeah that one's expensive though That's that nice. one's like 12k or 15k a month Oh, wow. And I'm like, well, you got an office here, but then he says, yeah, actually, you have to pay more to get a cubicle. <laughs> I just, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, that's mine is actually in Sukhumvit. Yeah, and Sukhumvit is actually like one of the most expensive places, also. I, I, I uh, yeah, when I first came here, I was uh, dating this girl that worked for one of them, like something fish or something, I think. Mm-hmm. But something fish, something fish. Yeah, I was, that's all I remember, fish something. <laughs> But it's like, so it's like uh, only 3,000 baht, huh? Just to have like an office club? Yeah, and you will have a receptionist. Let's say there's the office number. Mm. Somebody calls your office and then she will pick up the phone and say, it's, you know, like, for, for me, like that's all. Oh, that's so all I don't have to say, Hi, they come. Yeah, Welcome they're... to Live Travel Asia Productions. We'll have that. <laughs> we'll have, but somebody oh, okay. will pick up the phone for you. Wow, this looks all pro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now something that I want to know though is if you're a foreigner to have a business, you can you can't own all of it, right, or something? Yeah, forty nine at the most. Yeah, but I did hear guys that Americans have an exception. I'm not sure about that. So, I've I've heard through the grapevine. I'm not a pro at this at all. That's why I was so surprised. Uh, I just always discounted this. Let's try to recall. I think one of the people that I know uh. he owns a law firm. Huh. So I guess that's doable. If like he, he actually owns it. But I think not on paper though, because I think like on paper he must have like a a Thai shareholder. But I'm, but in real life he is the owner. Okay. You know? Yeah, I'm not yeah. quite sure about the change of the uh, law. I don't know. You guys could, but it's only like ten thousand baht to get all this done. Yeah. Register? Really? Yeah. The paperwork? I thought it would be so much more. No, well, uh, I know a few uh, foreigners who came here and then they were charged like 50,000 baht to do all these things. Yeah, yeah, and of yeah. course they think, oh, that's like, that's the correct Yeah, price, but you got but the like, connections. Yeah, yeah. that's like, that's like way too expensive, you yeah. know? Yeah, 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 yeah. 10K is like way too cheap for me, like 300? Mm-hmm. A lawyer will bill you for one hour like that yeah. in the States. That's, yeah, that's, that's really right. affordable. So how long have you been running your business, Tia? Seven years. Ooh, quite a bit. Wait, actually, I know you do. You have your hands in many, many different things. Is it like, it's just do you work off of that one business and then you do all this different side, like has different <clears throat> branches of it or? No, um, I have one company uh-huh. that uh, owns the brand uh, for the the O concealer, the concealer for the underarms, right? Yeah. And then uh, for the what do you call that? The coloring book? Oh. Yeah, I sell it on Amazon. So it's, oh. it's not connected to the, the company at all. Oh yeah, it's, it's not like a business in Thailand per se. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll go ahead and um, put some affiliate links to her Amazon thing so I can also get part of the commission. <laughs> Buy her <laughs> coloring book. And uh, I will put a link to the concealer, which you want to, ex- I'll, I'll let Sarah explain this one. What is her product? <laughs> I, her, this blew my mind. I didn't know this was a thing. Her product <laughs> is the armpit concealer. So it's a uh, deodorant in a way, <laughs> like a combination of yeah. deodorant and um, concealer. Concealer. So some Asian or uh, I don't know well, I don't whoever. Know. Yeah. So any women. Women or men. Who ha- yeah, or men. Men who shave. Who shave yeah. their armpit have <laughs> the you know darkest spot in yeah. their arm. And they wanna, you know, have them have Smooth. that area lightened. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that yeah. that will help. Her products will help <laughs> immediately within what? Yeah. Two minutes. Yeah, less than a minute. 
I don't even know what concealer meant, but basically it sounds like it's like makeup and deodorant combination. Yeah, so, that's pretty cool. If that is an issue for you, um, and that's something that could help you out, deodorant and makeup, like maybe you got like some, I don't know, gnarly spots <laughs> or something that oh, you want. Oh, you could actually put it on bikini line too. You know, some lines. people have like dark bikini yeah. line, uh -huh. right? And you go to the beach and then like, you know, there's some dark spots there. You could also put on your bikini line because it's waterproof. My product uh -huh. is waterproof, so you uh -huh. could actually use it swimming. Interesting. Honestly, I didn't know this was an issue, guys. It's like you got spots, you got yeah, spots. Yeah, only women, you know. It's mainly for women, so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know since this was sort of catered for women because these are questions that women ask me on my channel. Uh, go check it out. <laughs> I'll put a link. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, this is very enlightening about the business. I, I really had no idea. I don't know, do you want to promote it? Do you, do you know anyone that does this for 10K? Is, is there someone you would want yeah, to promote? Yeah, yeah, I'm still using him as my accountant. Really? Yeah, for seven years. Oh, yeah? Do you, do you want him to get more work and then ignore you more by me? <laughs> telling everybody or <laughs> <For real, I, laughs> you want to just keep them for yourself? No, I'd like him to get more because oh, I, yeah? I'm very happy with his uh, service. Yeah. So when people ask me, do you know anybody good at doing, uh, let's say, accounting and also um, company registration and huh. you know, stuff like that, I always, I always recommend him. Okay. Well, I I don't know this guy. Uh, not sponsored by him or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but. <I> <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, as a favor to Dea, who is doing me a favor by being on this channel and letting me know, I will also link his contact or whatever she has below. Because I'm sure if you guys want to set up a business, you're thinking, how do you do it for 10, th like I had never heard of it that low. Even if it was a thousand dollars, I would think that that's very acceptable. I mean, just from my perception of how much these things should cost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, hey. I mean, it's like 300 bucks, guys. So you get a work permit, maybe your business fails, you're just out 300 bucks. And the 10 bucks that you're paying your, your, your Thai employees, you know? Yes. <laughs> so yeah, uh, interesting. But I guess that, that is the only downside possibly. You need to have a business where you would have a need for four employees. I don't know, that's I mean, a lot of responsibility to, to me. You know, some visa required, like in the US, it requires. Maybe, like maybe. I think that's why it is good to go in business with a tie you trust. Then you can do like two things. Like, let's say I did it with you, sure. then you could have one editor for yourself and one, yeah. you know, translator. No, you don't need a translator, maybe the videographer, and I'll get an editor vide or vid videographer. And yeah, translator. Yeah. And then split, but that then works. you don't need a work permit, so it'll go to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. So that's one, one employee already. Yeah, I mean, but given how expensive like the elite visa is, because a lot of people are considering the elite visa. Yeah. This is this is one option. Elite visa is expensive, right? It's, it's expensive. I mean, there's so many different levels. It's like 400, and that's just money you you spend. Like start yeah. start with 250k and up or something. Yeah. Is it? I, is it that high? No, there's some that I think are like so, half mil right? and stuff. Oh my god! This morning, and but there's said, basic he ones. He said it's five hundred thousand baht. You pay like just uh, whatever, like just pay to the government, or you can just own a property hmm. and then you get deducted from that amount. I'm not sure. Like something like that. I have no idea. You own a condo because you guys can own a condo, right? I mean, this is the thing. Somebody told me that if you buy a 10, that's how I knew about the 10 million. You buy, was it 9 million? 9 or 10 million dollar condo, you automatically get an investment visa. Because you can say that that's an investment or something. Okay. You're like a real estate investment company. So even those uh, condos were marketing that they were gonna do the paperwork for you. You know? I'm sure they're making a ton if they're selling it for 10 mil. So they're like, they, they have specialists that do that. I don't know, I haven't seen it lately, but I haven't been looking at those condos in that price range. But I, I've ran by, I've, I ran into them, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, that, You're an expert for condo hunting, so. Yeah, but I, you know what, if you could do it for two million, I don't know if you can do that for a condo though. I don't know, that'd be interesting to know. It's a very, very small. Mm -hmm. 
million. Yeah. Yeah, mine's only 1.5. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I take that one. We got, we got high rollers here, you know. <laughs> Thank you, yes. Well, I live a very like modest we have, life. Well, we have like maybe what? How many more years to pay off? Yeah. yeah. You know? I, can't, I can't even afford 500 baht, you know, meals. <laughs> I'm gonna keep buying for that one for hours. Yes, 500 baht. I did, again, it's 500 baht? I tried to, like, okay, it's like $10. Oh, it's Canadian dollars. Yeah, maybe I refer to Canadian dollars. You know, right here, 500 baht, fufu, shabu shabu, I can get all you can eat. Hagen no, dazs. Canadian dollars, that's Canadian dollars. So it's like, roughly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, no, but there are people that seriously spend minimum 500 plus out here. It's yeah, really yeah. easy because they got all the Michelin star like hotel restaurants and such. And yeah, yeah. it honestly depends what your expectations depends, are. Yeah. yeah, you could easily spend 500, like yeah. easily. Yeah, so. For a high roller. <laughs> I, spend, I spend around 200 baht a day. Really? Yeah. Or even, yeah, or even I sometimes spend only a hundred. Yeah, only a yeah. This CEO only uh, <laughs> operates on two hundred, while this, uh, you know, YouTuber? humble YouTuber. Is <laughs> <laughs> humble YouTuber. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, I, w this obviously isn't super informative, where I'm going to provide you all the ins and out or the information. It was just something that was enlightening to me. I wanted Dia to talk more because it felt like we were hijacking the damn thing with the dating. I had a lot to say about dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Dia also did have a lot to say as well. Who? He had a lot to say as well. I have so much to say, but I was holding my tongue. Because yeah, honestly... You your perspective, my perspective. You know, I think us guys, we know enough from the men's perspective. Mm -hmm. But what you say is refreshing and it adds like a different point of view. You know, like... Okay. Like, yeah, Thai girls usually don't spoil guys, you know? Yeah. I, I will talk more about that <laughs> on my channel. Anyway, so check that out, guys. Yes. Thai with Sarah. Yes, Thai with Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's all good. We'll end it here, but see you guys next week. And if you want more interviews with these girls, let me know and the topic you'll want them to answer. All right? Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you so much. Yay. If uh, if you blow up her subscribe numbers by 500 in the next two days, yeah. she's gonna do a bikini vlog. Yeah, I, I would. You would, for right? Sure. You're such a sellout <laughs> for subs. Because nobody was gonna be Money, oh, money would not motivate you, but you would be no. motivated by subs for sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, I, I better work out now, starting now. <laughs>